imagine they're meeting that Swiss and hearing the whole story. The very first thing your father asked me for was that old coat we sent him off in. A nice mess you've got us into. That little beast. Little beast? What little beast? Did all him tell? Oh, if I had him here, I'd cram him with chocolate cream so he could never speak again. Don't talk such stuff. Tell me the truth, Rina. How long was he in your room before you came to me? Oh, I forget. You cannot forget. Did he really climb up after the soldiers were gone, or was he there when that officer searched the room? No. Yes, I think he must have been there then. You think? Oh, Rina. Rina! Will anything ever make you straightforward? If Sergius finds out, it will be all over between you. I know Sergius is your pet. I sometimes wish you could marry him instead of me. If you would just suit him. You would pet him and spoil him and mother him to perfection. Oh, well, upon my word. I always feel a longing to do or say something dreadful to him. To shock his propriety. To scandalize the five senses out of him. I don't care whether he finds out about the chocolate cream soldier or not. I have hope he may. And what should I be able to say to your father, pray? Oh, poor father. As if he could help himself. <laughs> oh. You were only ten years younger. Well, there's a gentleman just called, madam, a Serbian officer. A Serb? And how dare he? Oh, I forgot. We're at peace now. I suppose we shall have them calling every day to pay their compliments. Well, if he is an officer, why don't you tell your master? He is in the library with Major Saranov. Why do you come to him? But he asks for you, madam. And I don't think he knows who you are either. He said the lady of the house. He gave me this little card to give you. Captain Blunchley. Well, that's a German name. Swiss, madam, I think. Swiss? What is he like? He has a large carpet bag, madam. Oh, heavens. Oh, he's come to return the coat. Send him away. Say we're not at home. Ask him to leave his address and I'll write to him. Oh, stop. That'll never do. Master and Major Saranoff are busy in the library, aren't they? Yes, ma'am. Bring the gentleman out here and be very polite to him. Here, leave that here and go straight back to him. Yes, ma'am. Luca? Yes, ma'am. Is the library door shut? I think so, ma'am. If not, shut it as you pass through. Yes. Uh, stop! He will have to go that way. Tell Nicola to bring his bag here after him. Don't forget his bag. Yes, here. As soon as possible. Be quick! moment to select. <laughs> Captain Blunchley. Captain Blunchley. I am very glad to see you. But you must leave this house at once. My husband has just returned with my future son-in-law, and they know nothing. If they did, the consequences would be terrible. You are a foreigner. You do not feel our national animosities as we do. We still hate the Serbs. The effect of the peace on my husband has been to make him feel like a lion, balked of his prey. If he were to discover our secret, he will never forgive me. My daughter's life will not be safe. Will you, as the chivalrous gentleman and soldier you are, kindly leave at once before he finds you? At once, gracious lady, I came only to thank you and return the coat you lent me. If you allow me to leave it with your servant as I pass out, I need detain you no further. Oh, you mustn't think of going that way. This is the shortest way out. Many thanks. So glad to have been of service to you. Goodbye. But my bath. Oh, it shall be sent on. You will leave your address. True. Allow me. My dear Captain Blunt. Oh, heaven. 